HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to this best of edition of HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the anchor desk to recap some of the great happenings that took place in town so far this year. We start off with a look back at this past June as the Hopkinton Public Library Foundation hosted another successful Touch a Truck event. The Hopkinton Public Library Foundation hosted their seventh annual Touch a Truck and Food Truck Festival as always, the event drew a great crowd and some fun experiences for the kids. Daddy? How old are you? Nine. Are you having fun today? Yeah. What's your favorite uh, truck you've seen so far today? Uh, I don't really know right now. <laughs> uh, another terrific day here at Touch of Truck. You can't ask for any better than this, and it seems like there was a really good turnout today. It was. It was a great turnout today. We had 50 trucks. 13 different food vendors, about 12 sponsor booths with tons of activities. Um, a great turnout. We don't have a head count yet, but we're really excited. Um, everyone was super happy to be here today. The weather was fantastic, and it was a good group. So, yeah, it was a great year. And uh, can you talk about uh, what the proceeds go to for this event? Sure. So, we're the Hopkinton Public Library Foundation, and we're raising money for the new library downtown. And we reached our million dollar goal when the library opened, which was fantastic, and now because this event is so successful, we're raising money for what comes next for the library. Um, you know, there's going to be new hours coming soon. Um, Technology is always changing and updating. So we want to have money for when our library needs us. We're there to help and the town can benefit from it. All right. And um, this event just uh, always seems to get a, a good response and uh, some great community support. Yes, it definitely does. We have a lot of high school volunteers here today um, and a lot of local businesses that come out as sponsors, which is fantastic. And we're drawing from kind of the surrounding towns as well, which is great because we all know that we, you know, shop in different businesses and frequent different establishments. So it's nice to see. Christian, you don't want to be sitting in the back of this vehicle ever in life. Yeah, we, we brought up two today. We got our brand new pickup truck. Uh, we just got that. A week before our fishing derby, so it worked out well. I could take the trailer down with that truck. It's nice to be able to keep equipment, cones, and uh, barricades. That's very helpful. Uh, got my new SRO car, school resource officer car. Even got my initials on the door. The chief put that on there for me. Uh, but this is more of a friendlier car. There's no cage in it. Uh, so I transport a lot of students around. So it's a, uh, a better car for that kind of work. But. So these are two of our cars out of, I think we have about 14 cruises now between marked and unmarked cruises. So I'm not sure how to shut off the new light, uh, the, all the lights on the new truck. So I'll have to figure that out before I leave. So, but the kids are having a great time. There's a lot of trucks here today. We had great weather. So uh, perfect day for this event. I hope they continue uh, with this event. Gets the kids out, fresh air. Get, you know, a little uh, family activity here in Hopkinton.
Uh, so this is one of our newer ladder trucks that we got. We got it uh, used from another community, but we really uh, put a lot of work into it, and uh, it's really worked out good for us. And we're happy to come here to uh, support Touch a Truck and uh, the library fundraiser. We have a few uh, volunteers uh, doing Sparky the dog, and uh, some people uh, handing out hats, and we're just trying to uh, get with the community. And uh, I see the kids are really enjoying it. You got a long line all day, it seems. Yeah, we've we've had the longest line I think all day long, for sure. All right, and uh, you got some equipment back here. Uh, can you just explain maybe some of the pieces of equipment you got back oh, here? Oh, sure. Yeah, this uh, you know uh, regular uh, fire department equipment. We have things for breaking stuff and things for uh, getting through things. So we have chainsaws, um, sledgehammers, axes, shovels, all kinds of rakes. Um, so that's some of the equipment that we have here. Yeah, I'm handing samples of all my products out. I'm trying to drum up some new customers on my Hopkinton, Ashland, Holliston route. And this event always works very well for me. Yeah. Uh, so you do home deliveries? Yes, yes, that's what, that's what I do, strictly home deliveries. Excellent, if people yeah. want to know more, where can they find you? Can they find you online? Yeah, you find me online, yeah, yeah, Maple Farm Dairy. Yep, right. yep, I'm on there. Excellent. Yeah, and you can call me or you can text me at 508-478-MILK. Uh, right now we're showing off two LMTVs. Uh, they're basically troop carriers. You can fit 12 uh, troops in the rear and three in the front to drive and uh, navigate. Uh, you can also lift the seats up in the rear and fill it back with uh, all sorts of different uh, equipment uh, or tow behind a trailer to bring equipment uh, to wherever the mission may need it. And I understand uh, you work on these as a mechanic. Yep, I'm a mechanic, so I, I work on these, fix up, fix these. Um, actually, I'm starting a full-time job for uh, being a mechanic for the National Guard, full-time. All right, and uh, the kids really seem to be enjoying this equipment here today. Yeah, they usually do. You know, kids always like to see the Army out there, and uh, they, don't, they don't get it, but they hear the stories, so they seem to really enjoy it. Bullets, bullets go in here with gunpowder. The gunpowder gets hot and it fires off the bullet. This past May, the Hopkinton Veterans Celebration Committee hosted another year of one of the most highly attended Memorial Day ceremonies in the state. Here's a look.
Today is one of the most solemn days of the year. It's a day when we honor those who are no longer with us. Those who across generations stood to shield the rest of us from danger and from uncertain futures. And in doing so, they gave their lives. Today is a day dedicated to the brave men and women who gave their lives to ensure the freedom, protection, and survival of this very nation. Let's pray together. Holy and almighty God, creator of every people and place, ruler of all the nations, we gather here before you humbly and thankfully, glad of your presence amongst us. And together we acknowledge that you, and apart from you, we can do nothing. And that we need your constant grace and mercy as we seek to live in peace with those near and those far. But this year, Memorial Day 2018, has particular significance. It marks a century since the close of World War One. 50 years since Vietnam, but you see also today marks America's 150th anniversary of the establishment of a National Memorial Day. When our national agony that was the Civil War finally ended in 1865, 620,000 had lost their lives, 3% of the population. 3 million had served. In Hopkinton, 478 men out of a total male population in 1860 of 2,300 served in the Civil War. Many of you know how much Hopkinton has to, to connect to Memorial Day from the very beginning. That is such a blessing. Not too many people can share in that deep of a connection. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you for you, for your families, for your relatives, for everyone that's ever been involved in the military service, anyone that's ever had to give their life or give some of their life in support of our nation in building our nation. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today. If it wasn't for your families, we wouldn't be here today to celebrate the freedoms that we all get to enjoy. Coming up next on this best of edition of HCAM News, Hopkinton High School graduating seniors take one last walk through Center School and Hopkinton Little League kicks off their season. A whole lot more ahead. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Welcome back to HCAM News. 
This past April, Hopkinton Little League kicked off another season. Here's a look at the opening ceremony. It's truly a community activity, as you can tell by looking around here. We've got people from all over the town, uh, all different jobs, all different backgrounds. So it's really glad. I'm really glad that we have such an inclusive group here. Um, I'm really glad that we can have so many people participating in this great sport, uh, baseball and softball. Um, so thank you all for coming out today. Uh, I'm Jason Mahone, by the way. I'm the president of Hopkinton Little League. I'm one of about 300 volunteers that helps get this thing on on the road every year. Um, so whether you are uh, a board member or a coach or just a parent, um, there's always stuff that needs to get done. So please, if you're not already involved, feel free to raise your hand and help out. Now somebody who is here today, and he's, oh good, he's not trying to hide. Keith Shevry, come on up here. Uh, Keith was another essential part of our program for years. Um, a lot of stuff behind the background, um, organi organizing all our information. So all you coaches who filled out coaches evaluations or helped out at uh, fall evaluations, Keith's the guy who compiled all that information, made sure everybody was prepared and everybody was organized to have a great time, um, crunched all those numbers, all that kind of stuff. And he coached, tons of coaching. Um, so it, we're sad to have him moving on. Uh, and personally, um, I relied heavily on his advice and experience, so I'm very sad to see him moving on, uh, but thank you, Keith. And uh, we have a couple of party gifts for you there. Thank you very much. Um, the eight U Sparkler champs are over here on my right. Stand up, guys, give us a wave. Scott Sensity's team. Nice job, fellas. First pitch, okay? One, two, three, go! Nice try! Alright, now we can, uh, all you younger kids want to stick around, we're going to have relay races and wiffle ball home run derby over on Carrigan 2. And that's about it. Welcome to your 2018 season. Thanks, everybody. Responsibilities, uh, your role as the president of Hopkins. Sure, it's sure it's uh, really being president of Hopkinton Little League is a little bit like running a small business. Uh, you're responsible for everything, soup to nuts, uh, making sure there's uh, bases for instructional level kids and baseballs and bats for the majors kids and uh, softball uh, as well. We have about 450 baseball players, 250 softball players. Um, we are very excited. Uh, to get the 2018 season underway. Um, 
We run six fields that we're prior, uh, primarily responsible for. Um, field maintenance is a, a big part of the program. Um, we have a lot of volunteers who help out with that. We could always use more. Uh, and that's a big part of the job too, is making sure we have enough volunteers to help out with everything. Um, but it's a great program, the kids have a lot of fun, um, and that's the main goal, is uh, whether they're a great player or it's their first time out playing, uh, we want them to enjoy themselves. That's the, the primary goal. And if someone wanted to volunteer, how could they do so? Where could they contact uh, Go to our website, um, hopkintonlittleleague.org. Um, our email address is on there, Hopkinton Little League uh, website. Uh, excuse me, uh, email is on there. Uh, or, or just grab one of the coaches, uh, grab, if you're a parent, grab your coach, tell them you want to volunteer and help out and they'll, they'll point you in the right direction. Talk to anybody on the board, um, we have about 30 board members, um, so there's a lot of different ways, just reach out, grab us, we're willing to help, have you help, we'd love to have your help. And lastly, this is your uh, second season doing the opening day, uh, how's this day for you? I know the kids really enjoy it. I love it, I love it, uh, it's, we've been really lucky weather-wise, um, it's always good to be getting started with baseball or softball. Um, and we've been really lucky with the weather the last two years, especially after this year. It was such a mess on Marathon Monday, just you know, less than a week ago. Uh, to be here on a really sunny blue sky day is really great. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you very much. The end of the 2018 school year marked the end of the center school era. Hopkinton High School graduating seniors took advantage of the opportunity to have one last walk through the center school doors. The graduating seniors in the Hopkinton High School class of 2018 marched to center school in their caps and gowns to walk through the front door one last time before the school closes at the end of this school year and the new Marathon Elementary School opens for next year. Here's a look.
That will just about do it for this best of edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website hcam.tv as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website to take a look at upcoming events in town and the latest happenings throughout our community. If you have a Hopkinton related video, photo or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Looking for a fun and playful dog? Meet Mia, who is available at the Bay Path Humane Society right now. This is Mia. She's a very sweet one and a half year old girl, came to us from Louisiana. Uh, she obviously has some burns on her body. We don't know how she got them. She arrived with them, but she's a very sweet, calm, but quite energetic girl, would do well. Uh, in a family home, probably with children maybe older than 10.